Excited about the win tonight? Absolutely. Uh, you know, I told my team uh, before we played that um, you know this game goes uh, in, in one or two columns. Uh, it goes on one column or, or, or lost column, and you know we eventually figured it out and um, you know played I guess well enough to you know get the win. Uh, we got a lot of work to do, and uh, you know right now we're we're struggling with consistency, and we got to figure out a way uh, uh, to play um, and be consistent on the defensive end. Um, and so uh, I thought Aaron, you know, played well for us offensively, big spark. You know, we talked about her, you know, her ability to get down, you know, downhill and attack the basket. Um, I, did, I thought she did a great job of that, kind of changed the momentum of the game. And so, uh, but not the prettiest games. Uh, we'll learn from this and, um, you know, keep uh, teaching and, and coaching and doing everything that we can to prepare this team. Um, obviously, our, our opponent coming up is a lot different uh, than Lemoyne. And I'm not disrespecting Lemoyne, but um, you know when you play, you know, one of the top teams in the country, um, it's a different animal. And, um, and my thing is, I don't care who we're playing, you, you got you got to be who you are each and every single night. It does not matter, you know. There, there's no way, you, you know, you can't play to the level of your opponent. And um, I felt that, you know, we did that here today. When you don't have a game in eight days, how much do you take games maybe as segments and just learn to maybe play through some of those mistakes? Yeah, and, and you know, and we did, um, you know, but I, I think there was more than, you know, just the lack of, you know, execution. You know, I, I felt at times that, you know, we just, uh, you know, didn't have that, that pride, that, that want to. Um, you know, we're playing on our home court in front of our fans and you want them you know, to, to, to see us, um, you know, outwork our opponent and control all the controllables. And I just felt that we didn't do that here today. And um, it's disappointing. Um, it starts with me. Um, and, um, you know, it, it's going to be a work in progress. Um, but it's, you know, it's not okay. Um, you know, I expect us to go out there, work hard. And, um, you know, when people watch us play and when they leave, they need to, they, they should be leaving like, okay, you know what, that team plays the right way. You know, regardless if we win or lose the game, you, you play it and you respect it the right way. And, you know, we didn't do that tonight for 40 minutes. Aaron, you just heard your coach say that just about the pride aspect. Just how important do you view the pride aspect? And how can you learn to keep that consistent pride throughout from a game like this? Um, honestly, it all starts with practice. All of us being there locked in and just having, I feel like it definitely starts there just having that consistency. So once we get back at it tomorrow, we just have to have that same mindset and going into it just like that. Obviously, the games themselves, Tori, have been, you know, some consi some inconsistencies and some consistencies. As you go towards that second season, how is tonight maybe even more of a learning lesson for what's to come? You know, I mean, I, I, I look at every single game, you know, the same way. I don't look at non-conference, conference, and all of a sudden now that we're playing conference play, you know, like, and we have different opponents now, you know, we're going to be a little bit more excited. And, like, that's not, that's not what great teams do. You know, great great teams show up the same way each and every single day. You know, and it's the same way, and great players do the same thing in practice. And once you figure out how to be consistent, that's when you start, you know, changing the program. And that's where you start winning games. You know, and and so that's the part that we we got to figure out as a team. And we're gonna prepare for Virginia Tech just like we prepare for every single other opponent. You know, and so. Um, but like, regardless if we're playing for Junior Tech or Lemoyne or or Lehigh or anybody else, you know, I expect us to take the floor with a sense of urgency, great pride, uh, and a want to off the charts. Um, you know, and, and for whatever reason, uh, we we were flat tonight. Um, I, I felt that we were disinterested, um, and you can't be that way. You can't. And, and I'm searching. I'm searching for players to step up. I'm searching for players to show me that you know they they're ready to take somebody else's minutes and, and take somebody else's spots, um, you know. And, and there's no guarantees here. There's no guarantees, and uh, you know the fact that you know I got to coach effort is concerning, and and we need to figure that out as a team. You've mentioned maybe switching things up. You've done that with several lineups. Is that and that one is part of that effort to search at all? Well, yeah, I'm going to reward you know the players who I think that you know show up to practice and who work hard. And, um, and if you're not, then, you know, you're, you're, you're going to lose out on where you are. And if you're a starter, then you, you're going to lose minutes. You, you know, I, I'm about rewarding the, the, the players who show up each and every single day. And, um, you know, and, 
if our best players aren't, aren't on the floor, um, then, you know, and they're not our hardest working players, then guess what? They're not our best players. Because your best players should be the hardest working players each and every single day. So that they're, then, then they're not our best players and they don't deserve to be out on the floor. So I'm looking for consistency. I'm looking for players who, um, you know, uh, play the game the way it should be played. Aaron, for you, as this team's trying to find a flow throughout the game, what was it like for you trying to find your flow throughout the play tonight? Um, starting off, uh, obviously we were slow. We didn't really do what we wanted to do, getting up the floor and everything like that. I feel like second half, we, we knew what we had to do, come out and attack, get, do what we do in transition. So I feel like just finding my rhythm and transition and keep attacking, getting downhill is definitely my main part of the game today. Even though there's defensive principles you want to work on, they made one field goal in the fourth quarter. They made four field goals in the entire second half. Is that something at least you can hang your hat on to some principles we're following? You know, I'm not sure if that was because of our defense or the fact that they just missed shots, to be honest with you. Um, you know, I look at the game in, in its totality, and I look at what we were doing. And um, just from a systematic standpoint, um, and we weren't doing the things that I know that we're capable of doing. And so um, we got to do a better job. Uh, and, um, you know, hopefully, um, you know, we'll learn from this. Uh, you know, we'll look at some of the positive things that, that we did here today, and then we'll look at some of the things that, you know, we need to do a better job of. And um, because if we don't, then it's going to be really hard to win uh, win games, especially, you know, now with our opponents changing. And uh, But I expect our players to come out and, and, and play extremely hard and, um, you know, have a sense of urgency and a want to um, and, and play with pride. And, and, you know, wearing this jersey means something, you know, and it should mean something. And people should feel when they watch us play, they should leave here. And, and they should, you know, go home and they should be talking about Pitt women's basketball, how hard they play. And we know they're, they're on the rise, you know, and I can't say that, you know, people are talking about that tonight. And that disappoints me. That, that, that hurts me, you know, because, you know, that's something that I pride myself in, um, getting, our, getting this team ready. Um, and, and feeling a certain way about what we're doing. And so um, we, we need to figure that part out. It, it's maybe an unfair question because the game just ended, but totality-wise, just are, do you feel where you are where you want to be, and how do you make that extra gear? No, make absolutely sure not. I, I know. You know I, I look at you know, our non-conference season, and I think that there was two to three games that we probably should have won, you know, and, and, and we didn't. Um, you could talk about growing, growing pains or anything like that, but no, I, I think defensively we got a really long ways to go. You know, I, I, we have a really, really long ways to go. And here, as a coach, uh, you know, we're trying different things. We're trying to figure out like what works, what doesn't work, how can we get them. But what I do know, no matter what you tell your team to do or whatever you you know you give them, what concepts or defense, if you don't go hard and you don't play hard. It does not matter. It's not going to be good. And so we got to figure that part out. And the thing is, it's it's not all five players on the floor, but it doesn't make any sense when three when three people, three players are playing extremely hard and doing what you're asking them to do, and then you got two other people that aren't. You know, you, you, you win as a collective group, and collectively we got to be better. Overall, just you mentioned earlier in the season about learning a lot of these behaviors, these close games. How much is that a part of this journey, and how can that tell the story of what the season could be? Yeah, I mean, it is a journey, and um, you know, you learn, you certainly learn a lot about you know your your personnel, um, and, and what they're capable of doing in, in different times of a game, and so um, you know, so so there is a learning curve there, uh, but you know, I, I I see the same things in practice you know, that I see on the floor. And, um, you know, I mean, I know that tomorrow we could be better than we were today just by giving more effort. And then if we do that, then I'm going to feel pretty good, you know, and I'll be in a different space. But, like, what I can't tolerate is not having maximum effort. Um, and I want to, in a sense of pride, to wear this jersey and go out on the court and, and – do what, you know, we do the things that we're capable of doing. It's one thing that, you know, if, if, if I felt that we weren't capable of doing it, and I've said this all along, I mean, if we go out there and we work extremely hard and we do everything that, you know, I expect my team to do that I know they could do, and we don't get the results that we want, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with losing games. If we, if we lose games the right way, because eventually we'll learn from it, and then we'll grow from it, and then we'll get better, and then we'll win those games. 
But what I can't tolerate is the lack of lack of a want to. For you, Aaron, just how do you you hear the passion from Coach next to you just about the want to, the behaviors, the desires? How much does that start with practice tomorrow and making that contagious by day? It, it definitely starts tomorrow. Everybody has to be there. We can't be one foot in, one foot out. So it, we have to just lock in and exactly what you said, be prideful, have the want to, and effort, consistency every day. It can't be one day we're doing this and the next day we're off and it's just keep going back and forth. So we definitely have to lock in and it starts tomorrow.